Hello guys, I'm Leo. Um, today we're going to be working on changing the headlight on my car. It is a xenon light bulb. It's gone out, it's flashing on and off, and now it's turned pink. So it's time to replace it. So let's get to it. So the car we will be working on today is my 2002 BMW E39 530i. The headlight we will be working on is the driver's side and we'll be replacing that bulb right there. This car was produced from 1996 to 2003 and in 2001 BMW introduced the facelift model which is this car right here. So this video will only apply if you have the facelift model. This car was actually the first BMW that came with angel eyes. So we don't really need a lot of things for this job. It is a light bulb after all. So I just got some gloves right here, socket wrench with a 10 millimeter socket, small screwdriver just in case we need to pry anything. And we have our new light bulb right here. So since we're working with the headlight, your headlight works under high voltage, which is obviously very dangerous. You run the risk of electrocution. We're gonna just disconnect the battery to be safe. Come back to my battery. My battery's in the trunk. Uh -oh. We just come back here. So we're just gonna disconnect the negative terminal from here. That's why we have the 10 millimeter socket. And we're just gonna disconnect that. Remove that. Pull up on the terminal. Move it aside. Pop the hood. So we are working on this headlight. So the low beam is right here. So we're gonna have to disconnect this cable. As you can see, it has a high voltage symbol, which means it's running under high voltage. That's why we had to disconnect the battery uh, because we don't wanna rust, run the risk of electrocution. So you just come in here, grab it, twist it to the left, it should come right off. And there she is. So just put it aside. Now we just have to remove this rubber boot. I think we just start peeling it off. Yeah. Peel it so right I just off. basically peeled off the boot from right here. And we're just gonna set this guy aside for right now. So the light bulb itself is this right here. And now there's just this black ring holding it in place. So you're just gonna have to go ahead and twist it off to get that guy off. So you just kinda pull it, twist it. And light bulb comes right out. So this is it. This is the worn out light bulb. As you can see, kinda burned out. So yeah, trash this guy, we'll get the new one. So here's the old light bulb, and here's our new one. You wanna make sure you uh, don't touch the bulb itself. You don't wanna get any grease on the bulb, that can mess it up. So let's go install this one. Place the light bulb. Um, as you can see right here on the bulb itself, there's some slots right here and here. That's where you're just gonna want to match it up down in here right here is where you're gonna insert one of the light bulb and match it up with this slot right here so right here we're just gonna take our light bulb just a moment we line up these slots right here with the tabs right there it's gonna fall out because there's nothing holding it in place but that's how you put that in uh it's, it's loose so it's not gonna stay there that's why we have the black ring right here in here we're just gonna put it back and match it up with the slots for it there's a slot right here and here matches up with these clips right here and here oh and there's one on the bottom as well up the black ring 
just gotta slightly push it into its tabs and it's in now we just gotta get the rubber boot on rubber boots really easy you just push it right back on you want to make sure there's a good seal around it this is what's protecting it from any moisture or dirt from anything entering so just get it on now we're just going to insert the cable again there is a slot on the cable itself that matches up with the little tab right there where i'm pointing at so you just need to line that up we just match it up with the slot and it's in push it in twist it it's kind of a feel thing can't can't show it here but you'll feel it and it's in so let's reconnect the battery and test it out so we're just gonna reconnect our battery terminal so after we reconnected the battery we're just gonna turn on our lights and I can already tell it's working and there we are the light bulb is now working as is that one so today I went over how to change a xenon light bulb on my BMW 530i. I went over the tools, safety, and procedure, and we got it done. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, I'll see you guys next time. Later.